Hi, and welcome to Q Lee's Kitchen. On today's episode, we'll make Ethiopian cabbage. All right, so you're gonna need one bell pepper, three potatoes, one whole onion, and two to four large carrots. I had minis, so I used those. You'll also need the following seasonings and one head of cabbage. Now, as you can see, I don't like cutting my bell pepper in tiny little chunks for this recipe. You want to use nice big chunks. I mean, they're going to cook down anyway, so you don't have to worry about it, okay? Also, for this recipe, you're going to need four cloves of minced garlic and half a cup of olive oil. So, don't forget to have that as well. As you can see, my cutting skills here are not the best, <laughs> but I have gotten so much better over time. <laughs> Now, what you're going to take and do next is you're going to put your pot on, let it get a little warm, and then you're going to add that olive oil. And you want to let that olive oil get kind of warm. Then you're going to put in all of your dry ingredients, your onion and your carrots, to start uh, cooking those down and allowing them to get to a point where they are sautéed. Then you want to add in your bell pepper. Remember, you want them to be nice, big chunks of bell pepper. Look at that. Mm, you guys, if you can smell it, this smells so delicious. Mm, yummy, yummy, yummy. I can't wait. Mm -hmm. Listen to that sizzle, you guys. Now you want to begin adding in your seasonings. You want to add your salt, your pepper, your turmeric, and also, you want to add in your cumin. You can also use curry if you don't like cumin, and it still gives it a nice flavor. Add in your minced garlic, and then you want to begin stirring all of the seasonings into the pot. Now, you're just going to let it cook down and simmer, and then once it gets nice and sautéed, you're going to add in that head of cabbage. Now, because a head of cabbage is a lot, you may want to do half and give it about a minute or two and then add in the additional cabbage. And then just let it cook down. As it has cooked down, you want to mix in all of the ingredients and you want to be able to coat all of the ingredients on that cabbage. Now, you're going to cover it and you're going to let it simmer. Next, you're going to add in your potatoes. This is the final step, and you're going to allow it to cook down. Make sure you cover them and mix them well with your cabbage. Once your potatoes are nice and soft, this recipe will be ready to eat. And here is the final product, Ethiopian cabbage. Tastes great. Awesome. I wish there was more to eat. Well, that's a wrap. Be sure to like and subscribe to my page. And if you try the recipe, be sure to leave in the comments how you enjoyed it. And remember to take care of your mind, your body, and your soul.